You've asked and I've listened. Um, many people from my Telegram group asked me if I can share how I've made the kind of auto reminder uh, for Telegram and how you can actually program that. And I will share the code from Python and what kind of website I've used for getting the code to be uh, compiled at 12 o'clock UK time every single day and send a random reminder to my Telegram users. Um, so you'll have to know how to get your API from Telegram and how to get your ID for the chat that you want to send the code to. And then there's just a simple code which uh, which you can write and get that automated. Um, so let's let's jump into that. Let's jump into and show you how how you can actually do it. Uh, to be honest, I you can you can write the code like I did in uh, VSC and then just copy and paste it into into the browser that I'm going to show you. Um, VSC it's so much easier because obviously you can uh, you can start doing it in there. Uh, so let's 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 jump into that. Um, as you can see, I've got a, a Telegram bot p, uh, dot pi uh, py in which we're going to start typing some code, um, and then I'll probably share with you how you can get your uh, your bots and everything. Um, so let's import uh, let's import requests. Um, let's import uh, random and then we're going to probably define uh, define our um, define our kind of variables and get the ID and stuff from telegram so um, the chat ID uh, I'm going to use a dummy code so don't necessarily copy that because it won't work um, and then we're going to kind of so this is the chat ID for um, the the chat where I want this code to be sent. Um, so we want we have to generate the Telegram bot, um, and we'll do that in Telegram. I think you can do it in the browser. I've got this standalone app, so I can easily do it from the app. But then you can do it from the browser. I think um, I I didn't check. Um, and after we set up the chat ID. Uh, we want to make the function but let me first show you um, let me show you how to get that ID um, so in in telegram you have to go and in the search box find bot father um, and I'm going to show you on the screen how how the bot father looks like um, so that's the bot father and once you found it type uh, backslash new bot uh, and once you type new bot in there you'll have to give it a name um, let's see what name I gave to my bot so if you go new bot you have to give it a, ma a name and I called my bot reminder underscore flow uh, and then you will have to give the bot a username and obviously I called my bot Mr. Underscore Flow Underscore Bot. Uh, I should probably do it the other way around and the username should be uh, Mr. Flow Bot and then the name of the bot should be... Uh, uh, I mean the, the name of the bot should be probably uh, Mr. Flow Bot and then the, the username which you don't see should be Reminder Flow Bot, doesn't really matter. Um, and once you've done that, uh, after you clicked enter for the uh, bot username, you'll, uh, you'll get a message and congratulations on your new bot. You'll find it at, uh, and it'll show you a link. And then you can add the description above section and the profile for your bot. Uh, see help in case you want to do more help. Uh, but then you'll see a, a token to access your HTTP API. And that will be your unique token, and I'm not sure you want to share that with anyone or not. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'd rather not to. Uh, okay, so now what we have to do, um, make sure you create your chat group in which you want these messages to be sent, uh, and before you probably want to add more people in it. But if you already had some people in it, 
uh, you'll do some typing in there and I don't think they'll mind because you probably can tell them that you're doing a bot to send some reminders or something. Uh, let me move my mic a little bit. Um, and once you've done that, uh, now we're ready to get the ID for the chat. So after you made your, your chat group, um, we need to find your ID. And how we find the ID, and we have to go back into the search bar and we have to search for get ID bot. And what you do, you just uh, type in backslash start, you'll see it on the screen and it will tell you hello, whatever your name is. And then it will show you your chat ID and then your username, obviously. Um, so copy that ID and now what we need to find after we found this ID, this is your ID. Uh, your identity kind of not the group so we need to use this ID to find the ID for the group you want to uh, the message to be sent into uh, so what we have to do in the group that you've created now we have to go and type the following and I'll put it on the screen as well uh, so backslash your ID at username of the bot uh, and then you click enter so after you've done that you will have to access the following link and I'll put it on the screen as well as put it in the uh, in the description below because we need to find the API uh, we need to find the uh, we need to find the chat ID uh, so after you type in that um, bot your API slash get update link copy that put it in a browser and you'll find a lot of bits uh, into the browser which will show you kind of the history and the updates that you had on that group and chats and people t texting and sending bits but we want to find the ID of the username we sent that so um, maybe go all the way to the bottom of that page and from the recent activities after typing um, your ID and username of your bot we have to search for chat uh, dot uh, ID and you'll have a minus before the ID and I'll leave on the screen as you can see um, I'll leave how that will look like because we need to find out the group ID which is usually with a minus before because that will be the ID that we need for uh, the API to work from uh, using the bot on sending that message every single day. So we need the API which was generated by the bot father. You need the ID bot, uh, which is the ID, your ID, and use that ID to send a message on the group. And from the group, we need to use the API.telegram or get updates link to be able to see the APIs and everything that's happening, to be able to find the chat ID, uh, which is very important. Um, I'll share a part of the code from that uh, chat ID, Jason, because probably it'll be easier for you to find it, but it's usually with a minus before a, a code. Um, so now this is the ID used in Python code and that will be the API for the send message we are going to use in the, in the code. So let's finish the code now. Um, so we want to define a function. So let's define send message. Um, probably most of you people are better Python than uh, Python coders than I am. Uh, to be honest, I usually get help from a friend of mine to um, to finish my codes and everything. So uh, we want that function to get message and the chat ID. And then we want to use the API URL, which is as follows. So now I'll write again some code which is irrelevant because that's probably how your API will look like from the bot father. And now we don't want to get updates. We want the API for send message. Uh, so that's going to be our API uh, URL. Um, so what we want to do now, we want to try to see if this code works. And I've tried it just to see if I can get, um, if I get the messages sent. So we're going to use the response uh, in which we request to post on the API URL. Um, and also we want to be able to uh, send a message and through JSON. Um, 
I call it JSON, people are calling it JSON, uh, I don't know how you people usually call it. Uh, so we want to get the chat ID, which is the ID uh, from our chat. Um, okay. Now in the try, I wanted to uh, print the response of the text, if I can spell things correctly. Uh, response, okay. Um, it's, it's a very, I mean, it's just a few lines of code. Uh, maybe you can um, ask me and I'll post them in a, in a comment. Um, so this is just to try to ensure the code is not going to fail. But what we want to do now, we want to kind of define the message, which will use an array, and I'm going to use uh, three, okay, not send message. I'm going to use three type of messages, um, and I'll share some print screens from my, um, from my Telegram group to show you how those look like. And in case you want to see them working, join my telegram group i'll have a link in the description um, and you will actually get those messages as well um, so let's define maybe the first message okay and i'm going to speed things up on this one um, hello guys it's that time of the day don't forget to mine lovely people okay uh, basically it's a reminder for everybody to click the mine buttons or whatever buttons you have in your um, in your apps that you're using for for mining all sorts of different cryptocurrencies um, including pi network or including core DAO or whatever um, let's write another one hello guys don't be lazy go in all your apps and run the mining cycle okay and let's now write maybe a third one um, and if uh, you can see how you can write the array with multiple messages reason why we import a random um, because we want to be able to run them a different message every day um, and we like the code to do that um, it's top time of the day hit the mining cycle okay so now that you're happy with uh, you're happy with the message and you can use the same format to write as many as you like um, we want to be able to send that message um, and obviously our function is asking for what the message should be so we want to random choice one of the messages in our array and then we want to use the chat ID from Mr. Flow which is um, which is which is different from uh, from the test I've done above uh, you can you can even Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now that you've got, uh, yeah, just make sure your variables are having the same name. Now that you've got the code, uh, what we want to do, I mean, because I like the colors in VS, uh, VC, uh, VSC, VSC um, I kind of, I don't mind writing it in there and then copy paste it in, um, in the, in the browser I'm using. So you need to go on the pythonanywhere.com, make an account, make a user. Um, and it's important to know that on the free version, this is free, uh, you can only have one task a day. Uh, in case you want to have multiple tasks, you either make multiple accounts, which is not necessarily nice and fair, uh, you can actually pay. Uh, so you'll see my files already. Um, uh, if you go uh, within the files, I've already uploaded my file in there, which is my Telegram bot. Uh, but you can easily 
either upload the file from your VSC or you can type it directly in here by making a new file. Um, so now if we go in the task, you'll see I've got a, a task which is done daily at 12 o'clock. Um, you can add another task and it's basically does the code you have to write in the task. Make sure you use Python 3.10 uh, to be able to, to kind of read the code and ensure your console uh, reads the reads Python. Um, so that's my task which sends the code and compiles the code every day. Um, so what we, we what you want to, to do in case you don't have it installed, uh, make sure you go in the consoles and ensure that you actually got the Python 3.10 console in there. Um, I'm not sure we need a bash console in there as well, but uh, you can actually add a new console in case you don't have it there. You can see you can on the consoles you can add the plus or the minus to add the different consoles or not. I think I've added Python 3.10. Uh, in case you don't have it there, add it. Otherwise, your task might not work. Um, again, this is a very simple bot. Uh, it sends the message every day uh, without. This is the only passive passive kind of thing that uh, I have. Uh, it's sending the code without even asking my permission because I already granted that. Uh, write the code, but make sure you test your ID, your user ID and your uh, API by using the bot father and getting the ID for your bot. And once you get the bot ID, use that to send a message into the chat you want, into the group you want. And by getting updates, the API link for getting updates using your API code, uh, make sure you'll find the chat ID for your bot. Um, the code, my, my code is obviously, I've done the tests on it and I've, I've used the try as well as uh, sending the message. Uh, you can simplify your code for sure. But um, if you want the code, you'll probably find it in one of the comments and I'll share that with you. Um, I hope you find this video useful. I know it's a bit different from the uh, usual topics we talk, but in case you want to see more little tricks automation with Python, uh, let me know in the comments below. And in case you want something in particular and you want me to write the code for you, let me know and I'll be more than happy to try to do something. I'm passionate about automation, uh, statistics and all sorts of different these things uh, and I'll be more than happy to share that with you uh, and I'll try to challenge myself to build it for you. Um, thank you for watching, happy new year and let's all stay safe and I'll see you later in another one. Catch you later.